Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Seek and Destroy. And today I want to talk about the Midnight Suns update that we got from D23, which I'm very excited about because we've obviously been following the progression of this game and some of the announcements. Not every single thing, but I follow it pretty well. And we've gone through my Ghost Riders collection from the 90s Ghost Rider Dan Ketch stuff to the 2099 stuff, you know, to all the collections I have of Ghost Rider all the way up to Robbie Reyes. And so as a Ghost Rider fan, I'm very excited to have a game where I can play as Ghost Rider, but also a game that has characters like Sabretooth in it and Venom and Spider-Man and Wolverine and Blade um, and I'm just pumped and magic from the X-Men so I'm really excited for this game it seems really cool I'm also a big fan of tactic style RPGs so when they said this game was you know originally going to come out in October of this year and now it was going to get pushed back to 2023 it looks like they actually have a new release date for it but only for next gen consoles and pc so people who out there who still have playstation 4 it's like i still have a ps4 but i have the new xbox right so uh that now i get to play the game on december 2nd which is its new release date so they dropped a new trailer which hopefully is up on screen you know screen grabs of it or stuff and some footage and uh, and that's now gonna release on pc and playstation 5 and xbox series s and x all on December 2nd of this year. So I'm, as an owner of the, the new Xbox, I'm very excited for this so I can play the game uh, when it first comes out. But for those of you who have uh, previous gen consoles, and like I said, even me with PlayStation 4, um, I'm going to get on Xbox, obviously, because I want to play it as soon as possible. Um, but uh, everyone else will have to wait till 2023, maybe. They said it's a later date. They didn't say exactly when, because I'm sure they're still trying to finalize it and everything. But this is at least good because... There's at least a version of it that's going to come out before the end of the year, and I'm very excited for that. It's also coming out around the time of, like, the new God of War. You know, like, we got a lot of games coming out in uh, between October and uh, the end of the year in December, so it's going to be a busy gaming season. Um, but I don't, you know, play a ton of games that much anymore, but there are some games coming up that I really want to play, like Gotham Knights, obviously, the new God of War for sure, and uh, and this game. You know, I'm very, very excited for this game as a tactical RPG player. So what's cool about this, though, is that there's other things coming out that are kind of involved in it, some that are directly tied to it and some that aren't. So, like, let's talk about something that's not directly tied to it, but it does share the name. Um, obviously, they changed the spelling of the word sons as S-U-N-S -S because uh, they want to be, you know, I guess more inclusive or whatever. Um, that doesn't bother me too much. I know it does bother some people. For this, it's different. It's not like the X-Men becoming like X-People or the Mutants. Like, I wouldn't really like that at all um, because, you know, man kind of describes all of mankind, uh, you know, and X-Men. So to me, I'm like, yeah, that doesn't bother me too much. I mean, that would bother me if they changed that. Um, but with this, with Midnight Suns, it's like, yeah, that's it's fine. I actually kind of like it uh, aesthetically. It's a Midnight Sun, S-U-N. Um, I don't know. I, I kind of dig it a little bit, but it doesn't bother me too much. I wish they wouldn't change it, but the fact that they did, it actually doesn't bother me that much. Um, but I am, you know, with this, you know, a lot of people I see saying like, why is, why is Iron Man and, and Captain America part of this? And it's like, well, if you pay attention to the lore of this, uh, which they revealed in interviews, and we've said here on the channel before, they're not members of the Midnight Suns. Uh, the Midnight Suns is Blade and Nico and Magic and Ghost Rider and Doctor Strange. And everyone else kind of joins them because the fight that they're battling affects everybody. So it's kind of like the X-Men event called Inferno, where the X-Men are fighting demons from hell, you know, and magic is there and all these great Marvel characters are X-Men characters and mutants. But then, you know, Wolverine, uh, you know, teams up. There's Captain America, you know, shows up. Daredevil shows up. Like everyone kind of plays a part in it, a small part, because the battle it takes place, you know, in New York and there's demons everywhere. So, of course, you're going to get the attention of the other heroes and they're going to want to join the fight and so that's kind of what's happening so there uh there is a comic book coming out it's not tied to this game but it is called midnight suns s-u-n-s it's written by ethan Sachs, who i actually am a big fan of i like a lot of his writing and luigi zaragala uh, zagalia i think i can't remember i'm so sorry if i'm butchering your name uh, luigi but your art looks great and this book that ethan's putting together that you guys are all working on looks really cool it's a five issue miniseries i believe called Midnight Suns, and there's a first issue coming out this month in September, so I'll definitely review that when it comes out. I'll pick it up and, and check it out and review it for you guys, and then there's also a poster of the first issue that's out there, so maybe I'll get it, and one day I'll redecorate the apartment with Midnight Sun stuff at some point, 
Um, but then, you know, the comic will continue. But the comic doesn't really tie into the game. What does tie into the game, though, is some other cool announcements we got. Uh, there is a novel coming out written by S.D. Perry, who I'm so pumped for, uh, who was, used to follow me on Twitter when I had a Twitter account. Uh, but I'm a huge fan of S.D. Perry, and she's written the Resident Evil novels and has a great body of work. Uh, obviously, you know, her dad has a great body of work, too. And uh, her family, they're just a bunch of talented writers in that family. And, uh, and so I'm so excited that she's going to be writing a prequel novel to this video game and so that will be coming out uh, I believe this year like uh, before the game comes out so be for sure I'm going to pick that up and try to read it and and uh, break it down for you guys and discuss it on the channel um, but then also there is these five shorts and this is what they announced at D23 also along with the new trailer the new release date they announced these five shorts which are it's an animated series that's going to be up on YouTube the first episode is going to start on Halloween night, October 31st. So I think we're going to just full on watch it together live, like and get a reaction. I'll probably do that or I'll just do a full reaction of the thing and I'll just won't monetize it because, hey, it's not a, for me, it's not about that. I just it'll be cool, I think, to have something up on YouTube like those Gundam videos that me and Alex used to do. And uh, it just, you know. It, just, it makes it easier to, to do a reaction out of. And, uh, and so I'm really excited to check this out. So these will be five short films, and uh, they're going to basically tell you a little bit of a uh, backstory on Lilith building up to the start of the game. So, uh, so for people out there who aren't too familiar with her, you'll learn more about her in this mini-series, I guess, of five episode shorts that will come out weekly starting on Halloween, which makes sense because if you go, you know, every week from Halloween, which is a Monday, if you go every Monday night all the way up to the end, five weeks, you'll pretty much put a, uh, put it right to the release of the video game. So it's a great five week countdown to the release of the video game. So that's cool. It's weekly content for the channel that I can discuss and talk about and maybe react to for you guys. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just so so excited that this is getting a new release date and it's at this you know end of this year and that we'll get to play it because that's pretty much what i'm going to do for the month of december anytime i have a day off i'm probably just going to play that game and stream it because it has venom in it so it's kind of venom vlog episode it's got ghost rider and stuff so it's kind of highway to hell slash seek and destroy like there's it's it covers a lot of bases on this channel um and i think it would just be fun to interact with you guys and have a headset on and talk to you and you know i just haven't done that in a while i've, I've played some video games and streamed some of the footage but I haven't really done anything with it, and I haven't, I wasn't on mic or anything, and so I think this is a, a cool game to kind of bring me back into that. We, Gotham Knights might do that to me too if I have time and money in October to do that. Um, otherwise, I'll wait till next year to play that game um, because really, if I could pick two games this year, it's going to be you know, to play before Christmas. I'm going to have to say it's definitely God of War, and it's going to be this game here, uh, Midnight Suns. Uh, but I am also interested in playing Tactics Ogre because they're going to re-release that, and I'm a big fan of tactical games, like I said. So if I could squeeze a third one in, uh, it'll be that or you know Midnight, or, or Gotham Knights. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Are you excited for Midnight Suns? Like I definitely am, as you can tell by the big smile on my stupid face, um, but also my excitement for you know this comic series. I'm, I'm kind of curious. I do like Ethan Sachs. I know it doesn't tie into the game, but I still want to read it and check it out. And then also, you know, the novel. I'm very excited for that because it's S.D. Perry, one of my favorite writers. And then getting these shorts, uh, you know, these short animated stuff that is going to lead into the game. All of this is awesome. All world building, you know, a multi, you know, uh, platform stuff, m multiple ways to kind of pull you in to this video game world. And I'm, I'm digging it, you know, I'm, I'm. 2K sometimes they you know can get on my nerves, especially with things like Bioshock where they don't let you stream it off your console and everything. There's little things that company does that that definitely ticks me off. But I'm a, I'm a big Firaxis fan, and so the developers and everyone working at Firaxis, I'm on board for this, even with the 2K name on it. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm I'm excited to give this game a chance and play it and bring that game to you guys here on the channel. So let me know what you think about this news. About are you know are you excited for the shorts? Are you gonna read the comic book? Let me know all that down below, and as always, we'll continue the conversation down there. And definitely let me know your favorite members of Midnight Suns, like past iterations or even this current one. Uh, let me know down below, because they're going to bring in Spirit Rider in the new series, and you know they got some really interesting characters uh, that they're, they're pulling from. And I think Magic and Nico are in the new series, too, and it deals with the Strange Academy and Doctor Doom at some point, so like... It's, it sounds neat. It's kind of a lot of the things I like about Marvel mixed in with the supernatural stuff, so I'm on board. So let me know if you are too down below, and we'll continue down there. Thanks so much. See you in the future. Peace.